Kitchen. Move Kitchen Fishing. Welcome to today's video. Good morning guys. As you can probably see behind me, it is a very nice morning here. We're a little bit late to be, um, you know, getting the early bite, I guess. The sun's already sort of well up, but what we're gonna do is, we're gonna get some liveys and we're gonna go chase probably some jewfish or uh, if it's calm when we get offshore, we might even, um, you know, go out to some little bommies and stuff and drop down some live yakas and slimies, hopefully. Now, this is the first day of a little holiday we're on and we got here last night at about 10 p.m. went to bed at 11.30 so that's why we got up a little bit late I had to come straight from soccer training so yeah that's why we're up a little bit later than usual Dad's just parking the car now he's about to walk down and, and hop on and we're gonna head out through the seaway and head straight to the bait reef and try and jig up some yakas if you do enjoy the video don't forget to subscribe leave a comment like the video and share it with your mates if you think it could help them alright without further ado Let's get out there. Alright guys, so we're just at the bait reef. We're collecting a few yakas and um, maybe a slimy if it comes along. We've just got a bait jig on or a sabiki rig, some people call them. We found a school of bait on the sounder. Oh, oh straight on. So what you'll see us do here, I'm going to swing it straight in and grab the sinker. So I've got the rod in one hand and the sinker in the other. Slimy. So I'll grab the sinker, oh, he came off easy, but usually I'll hold the sinker in this hand and the rod in this hand so that line's tight and Dad can just pick them off easier then, so it's a bit of a team effort. If you're by yourself you can put your rod in the rod holder, it makes it a bit easier. So after we collected our bait, we headed back into a break wall and planned to drop our baits down around the large boulders and rocks. It took a little while and a few drifts, but finally we got a bite. Oh, oh. Yep. we're on. Matt, Matt. Matt. No, I want to hook it myself. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. That was one. That was a Jew. That was yeah. a Jew. You're winding, bro. He's still on, still on it. That was one. Got one. Got one. Got one. Go, Matt. Matt. Do you want me to read that rod, Will? Hang on. Yeah. Go, Will. Get the net ready. Nine? Yep. Matt, next drift is yours, son. Yeah, right, right. Got one? Yep. Yeah. Good fish? Yep. Good fish. Gotta beat the sharks. Come on. He's a good one. I'm sweating balls here. You're right. Yeah. Wait, Matt. Head first. Wait. Wait. Head first. Head first. Matt, there you go. Head first. Scoop him. We'll measure him. We'll measure him. There we go, guys. That's a nice one. So, um, as I said, we went and got some live baits and we did a couple of drifts. Just got picked off by Brim, but we saw someone hook up and straight away we hooked up just after them as well. So, man, it went hard. So, I've got my brother in the boat here behind the camera, Matt. I'm gonna try and get him onto one now. So, whoo, how's that? All right, we'll bleed this fella. We're gonna keep this one for a feed since um, it's our first fishing trip. So we're gonna bleed it and look after it and get it straight on ice. Up the way. Here he comes, yep, Dewey. 
A little one, that's right. Just bring his head in this way. Nah, he won't be legal. That's all right. All right, we'll just get a quick photo with him and send him back, eh? Yeah. Nice. So Matt just got that little one. It's undersized. We're just getting a quick photo here. Just hold it in front of you a bit. Yep, just getting a quick photo and we're going to send it straight back. What on that? First barrel. <laughs> <laughs> He's good to go. Hopefully. I do this all the time. Yep, there go on. So with the Dewey's guys, as you just saw that one, in my other video a lot of people commented because they were floating on their stomach. But as you saw that one, they do it, all of them do it really if you release them. When they've come out of a little bit of deeper water, it's not too deep where we're getting them. But they all swim away. You just gotta push their head down. And as you saw when I did that, that one just took straight off, straight back to the bottom. So, all good. Now these couple of fish that we landed were pretty much one after the other. And uh, with another boat hooking up behind us a couple of times as well, we realized that they were really starting to come on the chew. I thought I'd experiment and put down this dead bait and literally first drift, look what happens. The same got a dew, oh my god. We do, we do, we do! Oh. On a daddy! Oh, he's been sharked, I think. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Just a good fish. Definitely. He's going. Do you want a net, Dad? Do you want a net? No, you get him head first. You've got to get him head first. Oh, he's going now. Yeah. He's going now. Yeah, he's a good fish. Yeah, this is the one. Oh, big dude. Alright. Head first. Scoop and get him in. Matt, yep, scoop now. That's the way. Well done, boys. Oh, you went hard. That was on a dead slimy. One more deadie. Woo! There we go, there's a nice one. But man, you would have seen in the fight, he started off, I thought, oh yeah, might be another smaller one. And then when he came up off the bottom a bit, he just decided to take off. And I thought he got shark. He just started taking line. But man, they just go so hard. That's why they're so fun. So anyway, it's another nice one. That one was actually, funnily enough, on a dead bait, on a dead slimy. I just rigged it up really straight. I put the hook through the chin and the nose to keep its mouth shut so it didn't spin. And it um, absolutely slammed it, no worries. So, we'll go back up. That's real good fun. Yep. But there you go. Just hang on to him, Matt. It's a good fish. There's a better one. It's a better one, Matt. Get into him. Let him know what he's going to up. There we go, there's that one Matt just got. Another one just legal size. But when man it went hard. It's funny, Matt's got a new um rod and reel. I'll talk to you about that in a second actually. But yeah, it's um slain him so far. This is its first session. 3G to its name. Very nice. Well done, Matt. Alrighty, guys. I thought this would be a good opportunity just to quickly talk you through the rod and reel before we head in. Um, so this reel, we've had it for a while. It's just your typical uh, gold pen. I know they have a lot of newer ones now, like the pen slammer and stuff like that. So whatever floats your boat, but this is one of the more old school ones. We have some new 30 pound braid on there that we just got and 30 pound leader. Now I wanted to talk to you about this rod. Um, I want to do a big shout out to Wei, my friend from school. Um, we met up recently again after not being in contact for a couple of years and he was getting rid of some fishing gear so he gave me this rod. He gave me a few rods actually. I was very lucky, he's a very nice guy but this was one of them. So it's a 10 to 15 kilo rod, so about 30 pound and it's got a nice soft tip so it's really good. You can, you can feel everything that's going on but it's really strong through the middle and back, as you saw with those Jewies, it was handling them perfectly. So I want to do a big thank you to Wei for giving me that one. We're just about to head in now, and I might show you us filleting those couple of Jewies and um, yeah, the, the end product. So thanks for watching this far, 
and um, hope you've been enjoying it. Look at those beautiful white chunks of meat. That red on that one is just the bloodline, which is in all fish. But yeah, how nice does that look? And that's why we bleed our fish. I can already taste it. All right, guys. As you can see, there's a little bit of rain and maybe a storm incoming. So we're going to try and get the rest of these due done really quickly. And uh, yeah, get inside somewhere warm and dry. Can't complain about this morning at all, though. First trip of our little holiday, first session, and we got... Well, had heaps of fun. My brother Matt got his first dew. The weather was beautiful too. So what more can you ask for really? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, um, share it with your mates if you think it could help them. And uh, feel free to leave a comment below with any questions you have or uh, any comments. Stay tuned, there's so much more to come. There's gonna be lots of different species and sessions. So yeah, keep watching, hit that notification bell and um, I'll see you in the next video.